Our headlines today in the face of the biggest drop in living standards since records began. The Chancellor defends his autumn statement. He plans to save £55 billion by raising taxes and squeezing spending. Labour accused the Conservatives of blowing the roof off the economy. There'll be rises in pensions and benefits, but also higher energy bills. Good morning from Gloucester, where people are still working through the details, and I'll be looking at the implications. The head of a housing association in Rochdale, which rented out a mouldy flat to the family of a two-year-old boy who died, has rejected calls to resign. Big crowds come out to support rugby league star Kevin Sinfield as his ultra-marathon challenge moves into its final 48 hours. We'll be live with him as he heads towards Leeds. Second, homeowners will soon have to pay double the amount of council tax on properties in North Yorkshire. It's hoped the move will encourage people to sell or rent out their homes to help local residents who are struggling to find housing. Let's take a look at the papers for your Friday morning and we're going to start with the Times newspaper. Squeeze on spending and an increase in taxes are the focus of most front pages. Following, of course, the Chancellor's autumn statement, the Times says the UK has years of tax pain ahead. Let's have a look at the Daily Mirror saying the Prime Minister Rishi Sunak and his Chancellor were grinning in the House of Commons as they plunged millions into economic hell. Car carnage is the paper's Headline. And the eye reports on the impact on household income, which is predicted to fall by 7% over the next two years. And the Sun also gives its verdict on the autumn statement, describing it as a tax hell before adding, thank God for footy. Well, Hunt paves way for years of pain. The headline on the front of the Financial Times following the Chancellor's autumn statement. Carnage reads the mirror, talking about the millions set to fill the pain of the new measures. And the Metro writes that the budget delivers the biggest plunge in living standards and the highest tax burden since World War II. UK's lost decade, says the I, reporting that British earnings are being sent back to 2013. Well, from bad to worse, The Guardian takes on announcements made by the Chancellor. And The Telegraph writes that Britain's welfare bill is set to rise by almost £90 billion after Jeremy Hunt uh, protects benefit claimants and pensioners from soaring inflation. Well, also on the autumn statement, the Daily Mail says middle earners uh, and strivers were hammered with a stealth tax squeeze. Well, years of tax pain ahead. That leads to the Times. Meanwhile, victory is the headline on the Express, the paper leading on the Chancellor's commitment to maintain the triple lock on pensions. And The Sun, well, it splashes uh, on a story about comedians David Baddiel and Frank Skinner unveiling their new Christmas version of The Three Lions ahead of the World Cup. And if you want to see any of those front pages again or read the stories, scan the QR code.